What's going on everybody? Coach Al here and in the last video we took on TCU had no real issues there but one by 19 it was a weird game I had a safety or they had a safety on me just a weird score but we won we're 10th in the country we're 9 and 1 on the season and we have our last home game of the season which is against Colorado State they're having a terrible year They've regressed. They're, they're running the ball pretty well, it appears. The rest of their stats do not look all that great. Like I said, this is the last home game, so we need pretty much the rest of the prospects we're going after to visit today. Otherwise, it's going to be tough to get anybody if you're not playing a game when they visit. So let's check that out. We'll go to recruiting. And we know this right tackle is ready to visit. We don't know. He doesn't like anything, to be honest. He doesn't care about location. I'm going to go ahead and do program prestige and keep it. That's like the best chance of probably getting him. So we'll do that. This wide receiver still can't make up his mind where he wants to go. I mean, it's us and Oregon State. I put no points on him in the last two weeks. And for whatever reason, he still hasn't committed anywhere, which is weird. But we got other fish to fry. This kid right here is ready for an official visit at Colorado State. That's good. He wants to go to a top football program like ours. So we'll go a program prestige. Here we got this right tackle. Good deal. He's ready for a visit. We'll go Colorado State. And let's see what he doesn't like. He doesn't like coaching style. Playing early. He doesn't like playing time. He doesn't like coach prestige. And he doesn't care about location. So let's just do program prestige. Again, that's your usual best bet if you can't find out what they like. From what I can tell, that's he hasn't mentioned that yet. So we'll just go program prestige for him. Tight end, ready for a visit. This is really good news. Everybody's finally ready to come and at least visit the campus. He is interested in the program prestige, so we're going to do program prestige for him. Tight end, ready for a visit. We'll go Colorado State. He is interested in university for one reason, program prestige. I'd appear to tell you, Program Siege is your best one of the bunch. At least it seems to be with this crew. Tight end, Andrew Lewis, ready for a visit? He doesn't care about playing time. He doesn't care about coaching style. And he doesn't care about coach prestige. So I'm just going to go with Program Prestige. Might as well. And corner. He hasn't, he's not ready yet. At least we're at the top of his list, but he's not ready to visit. And... Like, this guy is so weird. Some of these guys just still can't make up their mind. It's season's about over with, and they can't even narrow down their top three. So, I don't have to make any changes on the points front, I don't think. But at least we got one. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. That's the most I think I've ever had for one visit. I... Normally, it pans out you barely get one to two, maybe three come for visit for the, on the same week. But I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's incredible. Okay. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We may get all six. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's go to bowl rankings. We're moving up to 10th in the country, but for bowl rankings, we're 12th. I mean, we're kind of out of it. Here, if we win the conference, I had a conversation with somebody today about this. They asked, if you're in the, you know, the rules were back in 2006, if you're in the top 12 and you win your conference, you're guaranteed a BCS Bowl of some sort. Well, I don't know if that applies here. This is the 2005 season, and I'm just not quite sure. But we're 12th in the in the BCS Bowls, or rankings at least, so who knows. We can go to uh, Top 25, that doesn't matter. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Again, just doesn't really affect us any. Semi-finalists, we got five or six guys up on the board here. Peoples up for the Maxwell. He's up for the Walker. Just to make sure, let's see. Tidy. I figure Nash would be on here, but I guess he doesn't have enough touchdowns. And I don't throw him the ball enough. Offensive line, Remington, what was it? Not Lombardi. Linebacker, no. We should have somebody on the Thorpe. And, yeah, it's Warren Parker. He's killing it right now. And this guy is, too, the Texas true freshman. 
junior and a senior. That's awesome if he can get the finalist for a true freshman. I don't know if I've ever done that for a true freshman safety. Either way, he's having a great year. Five interceptions, three touchdowns. I've been really enjoying controlling him throughout the year. Groza Award, Aguayo. It'd be cool if he was able to make the top three. We need to get a few extra field goals in him. He's got plenty of extra points. That's for sure. Punter. I know we're not going to have anybody here. We don't punt enough. And return, Anderson. I don't know where he was last week. It might have been third or fourth. Either way, it's good to see him right here. He's put. He's having a great season for us, especially on special teams. And, of course, we're number one for Coach of the Year, which actually surprises me. <coughs> but we're, it's, a, it's a solid. If we were undefeated, I would kind of get it. But there's a lot of guys that we're battling with that have, have one loss as well. So, okay, all that looks good. We won the conference championship last week. We got a two-game lead on everybody, and we got two games left. If we lost both of them, we'd still finish 6-2, and two, and we'd have the tiebreaker on everybody. So, three-time Mountain West Conference champions. Good deal. Okay, let's take on Colorado State. Now, if you remember what happened in my first season, that was our one loss. Was to the Rams. They just destroyed us. I got a little comeback or a little payback on them from last season. I don't know. I put up 70-something points. I just wanted to make a statement. So hopefully we can take care of business today. They got a halfback out. They got a tackle out. They're running the ball well. So I'm guessing everything's going to go through their run game. So hopefully we can stop that today. All right, check out the preview. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. A pretty, it's a rare day game for a home game for us. We usually have a lot of night games. Perfect weather. These two Mountain West teams are fired up and ready to go. Book in in the conference. Peoples having a great season. Put up good numbers. We're going to keep doing that. Hard to believe we just got like three, four, yeah, three games left. All right, they picked us. They've won the, we won the toss. We won the ball in the second half. Okay, let's check out their roster. Impact quarterback, he can't run, though, so we're going to try to go after him. Their top running back is out for the remainder of the season, more or less. He must have got hurt recently. Either way, his backups aren't the best in the world. Pretty good fullback. One decent receiver. The rest of them are just ho-hum. Really good tight end. 6'3", 252. He's an impact guy, but he's a blocker. He can't even catch either, so... I don't know. I guess he'll be able to block well. Offensive line, 70, 68, 72, 76, and their best player is out. So his backup is 68. So not a very good offensive line. I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3. Let's see. They go 82, 85, 86, and 78. Not a bad front four. 78, 78, 82. An okay linebacking unit. Of course, one of them's an impact guy. Okay corners. Nothing special. Nothing special at free safety. And nothing at all at strong safety. They got a pretty good, an average kicker and a, just a below average punter. Okay. Let's get the show on the road. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Strong kick to start. Takes it at the four. Somebody's stopping. Okay, now their top guys out, they're running back. So I don't know if they're going to. We'll go quarters. I think if I was them, I'd be throwing because of the quarterback, but I also don't know what they're going to do. 
Going one half back draw. It's a good stop there. That's a run. Snap back though. Definitely going to pass. Ooh, they're going one receiver. Still one high to four three. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own twenty-seven. Single set back to. Just going to leave it as is. Play action. Oh gosh. Went the very impact tight end. Play action there. Uh, just do another one high. I could see him running it here. Nope, they're going to throw. So they're throwing it because I'm guessing just because they got their quarterback and their tight end. So let's do a zone blitz. They got to hang a tight end. Good stop there. So they're throwing it. They're throwing it. They're throwing it. Let's call the same play. Ooh, it's third and eight. Oh, what are my defensive audibles? Uh, I'm going to call a timeout. <laughs> I hate to waste a timeout, but I don't have the right unit in there. Actually, I probably could have went quarters. If I had my nickel package in there, I would have audible to Cloud, but... I didn't want to move a linebacker to nickel and him, his ratings dropped tremendously. Good defense. Got a hand on it. So what yard are we on? They're on the 47. Let's do a middle fan. See if Anderson can make a nice safe catch here. Everybody get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay. That's a heck of a punt. Middle of the field. Let's do a toss with Peoples. They're going man. I'll just go here. Hey. Fullback is too slow. I was waiting for him to try to get a block there, but he's just not fast enough. Either way, that's a good run. Let's do play action meals off of that. We're going zone. We'll do our adjustments. Cover two. I got hit as soon as I threw it. Oh, good catch. That's good defense. We were just able to look out and make a play on that one. So, I've been practicing a little bit of my halfback draws, and I'm liking what I'm seeing with those. So we're going to try that. The funny gun, if you if you remember, you know, the Florida Gators back in the day, they ran a ton of draws, and they went play-action draws, but you really can't do that in this game. But I'm going to try this here. Not bad. Pick up eight. It's, it's pretty quick with the halfback draws under center. So we'll add a little bit more to that as we go on. It actually fits the offense better if you do more draws than basic runs. Ah, crap. Something happened there. I want to go back and look at this. I have a felt I ran into peoples. That's what it was. I'm like, I couldn't back up. It's a miracle I was able to get this off. Okay. Uh, it's third and two. Let's just run it. We're going zone. We'll go slam. Yeah, we'll just go right. Just pick up the first. We're on the seven. Now, the halfback draw is normally from all the ace sets. One in the I formation, but that's kind of it in terms of under center. But, I don't know. I enjoyed using some of it, though. All right, they're going zone here. So, we'll just probably go here. We'll probably call the same play. I'm on the four. We're going zone, so we're going to try the fade out now. Now that they went goal line. 
We'll do a heart route. It's not the best throw. Not in a good spot. From the four, this actually may be tough. Let's try. We'll do slam. We're going man nickel. Ooh, yeah, good play. <laughs> we'll take it. I was worried about that linebacker, but thankfully Peoples was able to stiff arm him. Or broke the tackle, at least. Oh, what a hit, man. Another stiff arm from you know where. Okay, good start. We'll get an extra point off. Pretty long drive, eight plays, 80 yards. I thought it, it felt like it took a little while. Let's see if we can get a stop here. Good stop there. Okay. Uh, they are. Let's, let's go quarters. They threw the ball quite a bit on that last drive. So I'm guessing they'll stick with that. Yep, they're going to throw. Oh, good catch. Wow, that was crazy. Per the timing had to been perfect for that play to work. Or to throw. To connect. Good tackle by 33. Uh, let's do another blitz. We're going to flip it. We're going to do a corner blitz. I don't call these a whole lot because I think the corner's so far off. We could try it anyways. Ooh, it's... Ah, I caught up on that. It's a good play. Let's go one high. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck. I could run through those right yeah. through three. The Rams line up with two tight ends. Play action. He's looking down the middle. Oh, he's wide open. He, he appeared wide open. Let's, let's look at this. Yeah, that's a good play if you can pull it off. It's good. I may cover that in another video. I don't use that play a whole lot. Uh, but against man, that tight end off the cross round can get wide open. It can get open against zone, too. Especially if you're on the short side. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty-two. All right, let's go back. Let's try a blitz again. Trips left. Face mask. <laughs> Fifteen yards. A minute, folks. There's a penalty on that play. It is what it is. Okay, they're on the twelve. I'm going to go one high. I don't know what else to... Their play call has been pretty balanced on this drive. It's a good stop there. Somebody must have got hit pretty hard. Guess there's the halfback, yeah. Let's do a fire green. They're about to run out of room. I'm just going to take a chance. They'll probably find an easy cover zero beater. Or a, a man beater. Ooh, they went offsides. Good deal. Or encroachment or false start, I guess. That changes things a little bit. Get down to the 15. It's too lightning, too. Good blitz right there. <laughs> went right to him. So now we're going to go cloud. AKA cover six. I'm not too worried about them going in the 13 personnel. They got to throw it. Oh, he caught it. I'll be. I was right there, too. I should just put my hand up. He saw me. He felt me out of position. Dang it. Okay. I'm not too worried about that. 
I should have let the AI handle me until he threw it. I pressed triangle instead of L1. Went for the interception. And I didn't even raise my hands. He was supposed to. Well, that's a pretty easy drive for him. We'll try to get our lead back. See if Anderson could do something here. Good run there. Let's see. Let's do slam. We're going man nickel. But let's see who is covering the slot. That guy. Okay. That's all I need to know. Looks like they're going to stay in that. Nope. They are. Dang it. I'm going to throw that away. They went cover one. It kind of threw me off. And I was going to go. I was going to show you what I was going to do. I was going to go to Flair on the right, on the deep dig, but they went spy on this with the impact linebacker. So I guess I could have went there. Eh, either way. All right, let's go toss. We're going zone 4-3. We're doing that. I'm going to leave it as he is. I got some yards. All right, that's the end of the quarter. Tied up. Third and five. Mm, I hate. I don't need that many. Let me think. Right, let's let's just go ahead and do five semi. We're going man. One high. Good catch. Wheaton's done very well so far. I guess all three of the catches have been to him. Let's stay here. Let's try another draw. We'll do it from slot. We're going zone 4-3. Cool thing with the draw, you can go left or right if needed. Like in this case, I may go left. That's just good defense. He was just sitting there. Sometimes you could get underneath a B gap or an A gap, but there was just no hole there for me to work with. All right, let's try Lonnie. We're going man 4-3. We're doing that. Going one high. Intercept. Just a terrible throw. That was a terrible throw by Steichen. I don't know what he was doing. Just plain bad. He just short-armed it to no wind. Hopefully, we'll, I, it's hard to recover from a turnover in terms of stopping them. That should be interference. They didn't call it. <laughs> Good deal. I feel like I bumped into him a little bit. Let's do quarters. I haven't done any 3-4 yet. I will eventually. They're doing a lot of bigger sets, and I prefer to have my 4-3 in there. Toss. That's okay. That You may see that happen like once every four or five seasons. That's just a... Glitch. He just ran out of room. All right, we'll try Clay. We got to get a stop here. I got the middle of the field. Great defense, Stags. Oh my gosh, I took him over just in time, and I pressed the L1 button. Woo! I gotta go back and look at that. Let's see. You saw me. I took over Stags right at the last second here. There we go. L1. Oh, just enough. Otherwise, he's probably going to catch that. Whew. Okay. When in doubt, just do L1. It's, it's safer. Unless you know you think you can get an interception. Then you can attempt the, the pick. Get a block right there. Somebody's hurt. Okay, we haven't tried. How to, Steichen's not the best at it. We'll try it, though. We can try fork. We're going zone. Got their linebacker on the line. 
I was feeling the heat, so I had to give it down low to my tight end. Let's try slam again. They're going man, and they're blitzing both inside guys. So we're going to go back to this. Let's go, Anderson. Nice. Nice. Touchdown. They brought both safeties, so I audibled. They stuck with that. Sometimes they'll switch it up. But that time they didn't. They stuck with their cover zero. So I just went over the top. I went to Anderson instead of St. Pru just because Anderson's better. Okay, that's a good recovery off of that turnover. We got a stop. Got the ball back. And we scored. That's tough to do. Get an extra point. Oh, let's get back on defense. UNLV to kick this one off. Almost hit it too late. He may get a decent return out of this. And maybe not. Okay, they're on the right hash. They are going that. We'll do a one high out of four three. Our zone blitzing isn't working all that well. Colorado State goes with the ace set here. Just because I'm not controlling one of the linebackers. They can't get to him fast enough. Sack. Play action. That helped. It's a good stop by Faga. They're going with 13 personnel. Let's, uh, let's go another one high. That's fine. Play action. Good stop there. Now it's third and long. Let's we'll go back to Cloud. I'll try to go up the middle here. I've pinched the line. Golly. They're killing me on that play. The, I moved a little bit, and he noticed it, and he threw it right towards me, and I completely goofed up. Yeah, that's just good on their part. It always seems best to let the computer handle your defender. Like, a lot of times I'm letting the computer handle Parker until somebody throws it, and then I can control him. Because if I move him around, then they'll probably throw it to me. That's how I'm able to bait quarterbacks when I'm controlling the linebacker. It's just harder to do that as a safety because there's just a whole lot more room you gotta cover. Number 16 is the impact player and he's feeling it right now. All right, we're gonna go back to Cloud again. This time I'll try to be smart about it. But on the 39, so they may go for it if they don't convert. Touchdown. Oh, overshot it. All right, good deal. Let's see what they're going to do here. Yeah, they're going to go for it. We'll just stick with the same play. Oh, wow. That was easy. <laughs> well, that was way too easy. First to 10. Let's do a monster two if the a little, a little more risky, but yeah, that wasn't a good play. We stretched that way too much on that one. The basic zone blitz just isn't working all that well. Not unless I'm taking over the linebacker. So I may back out of those a little bit or do something different. All right, second and ten. I guess he just dropped it. 
go back to another one high. I'm thinking they're going to run here. Play action. Got hit as soon as you threw it, thankfully. Okay, third and ten. Uh, let's try cover three from nickel, or from three, four. I'm bringing an extra blitzer. Good play. Almost picked off. Fourth and ten, they'll probably kick a field goal. So we got a minute 48. I got two timeouts left. Should be plenty of time to go down and score. And he misses it. He missed it. Yeah. That's rare. Get that short. They normally make those. So I got plenty of time. Um... Uh, Let's do another toss with Peoples. We're going man. We're doing that. The Rebel line up in a split back set. Here's an option. Ooh, that was close. Good block there. Stud, absolute stud. That's why I wanted to run it because I figured I'd get something out of it, and I got because I got plenty of time. So let's stay here. Go corners. We're going man. We'll just read the corners or the safeties. We're doing that. Let's go waiting. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> he just straight up dropped it. Let's just try basic slam. We're going zoned or doing that, so we're definitely going to go. Hopefully this will work. I'm going to move this him guy over. Good block there by the tight end. Third and inches. Got plenty of time. Let's just go slam. Hopefully we can convert this. That linebacker's sitting right there, but. Ooh, just enough. <laughs> just enough. Well, we can try another toss. Might as well let Peoples handle it. We're going man. Doing that. If I can get to the F balance. I just can't get there in time. All right, second and five. We're going to go Lonnie. We're going zone. Good play there. Get out of bounds. We'll break this play down. Center beater. I saw a big hole above my center, so I went to him. Thankfully, that guy, that defender, made a bad cut. He just had too much momentum, so I was able to run by him. And just enough of a push by Wheaton. So now I'm on the 10-yard line. <coughs> so good play there. 32 seconds of two timeouts. Let's try that draw play again. We're going to do it from Ace Big Twins. They're going zone 4-3. I treat it like a slam. Literally no different. Eh, that's just good defense. Left tackle. Sometimes you can, I've noticed this. Sometimes he'll back up a whole lot. That he just got pushed back. I should have cut. I should have went right here. That was my bad. My bad, my bad. 27, I'm on the 10. We're going to go back to corners. We're going zone. We're going to keep this short. I have to call a timeout. 36. We can try five semi from week normal. We're going man. All right, this may work. We'll just see. Love to go to Flair here. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. Throws it to the outside. Terrible throw. Man, that was bad. That should have been a pick six. 
all that corner. I guess he just ran out of room, so he came up. That's kind of good to know, because that should have been picked. Oh, gosh, that was risky. Mm, okay. Very fortunate that wasn't picked. So we'll kick a field goal. Dang it, I missed it. I missed it. No, I made it. Oh, I've I, I done that terribly. Hit the button way too late on the end. So we're up 10. Got seven seconds to go. We'll try to survive that. Then we'll get into the third quarter. We'll get the ball. We'll try to stretch a little bit, a little bit better if we can. Four seconds. I fully expect a run. We'll just do a basic one high. This may mess me up. I don't know. I'm going to leave it as is, though. I'm going to back up just in case. There we go. All right, good deal. End of the half. We're only up 10. Close game. Offensively, we're struggling a bit. It's just taking a while just to get down the field and score. Yards-wise, we're doing five. 238 yards. Terrible turnover by Steichen. Let's see. 7 of 13. Only 50. He's not having a good day. Uh, Should have had two interceptions, to be honest. But Peoples is putting on a show. We're going to continue to give him the ball. Might as well. And receiving has been pretty split, more or less, in terms of receptions, at least. All right. Let's get the ball and see if we go down the field and stretch the lead. Let's see if Coleman can do something here. Block right there. There we go. On a fumble. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Even more reason not to play him for a little while. Uh, let's do corkers. We haven't called that today. They're going man, so this will go to somebody on the left. Impact guys on Anderson, so we're definitely going to go to Wheaton. It's been the Wheaton show today. Flair hasn't even got to touch the ball. We can try. Corkers from spread. They're going zone. And that linebacker's right where I'm probably going to throw it. We'll try it. Nope, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. I figure I wouldn't get it. I should have dove. Third and one. Try slam with Peoples. And the linebacker's on that side. Good. Hopefully I can sneak this in on the left. Just enough. Good deal. Let's go and try a little counter. We're going man for three. I don't know why I'm pushing it so much. Let's see to do that. I'm not a big fan of that shift. It'll work out okay, though. Just be patient a little bit. That's a, should be a face mask. Throw the flag. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do meals off of that. They're going zone. Let's see. I'm seeing cover two. To Wheaton again. It's just been his day. So we're there. Uh, what haven't I called? I'm on the 16. Don't need to get too fancy. Let's do slam from here. The going man, right nickel, was blitzing because he was shuffling his feet like he was going zone where everybody else was going man. Good play there. Second and three. Let's go back to corners. We're going man. Should be the right amount of yardage for this route. Let's see. We're going cover two. Mm, yep. Touchdown. Ah. We'll break this play down. They went cover two, so my cover two beater is definitely 
Nash. I was a little worried about this guy right here. I figured he may come up and do something there. Thankfully, he didn't. Well, he did, but it just wasn't enough. And right here, I'm still holding down the triangle button. I'm letting the computer handle the rest of it. And thankfully, he was able to sneak on in for the touchdown. Awesome. Good deal. That was a good drive right down the field. Kick an extra point. One thing I may try to do next season, if I'm sticking with UNLV, if we don't get, if we get invited and I stick with UNLV, I may switch up the playbook a tad. Uh, there's a couple of other plays from other formations that I want to try that I think will fit with this offense. We'll see. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. I'll have to give that some thought. And I may go ahead and do that like in the next game or something. It's not going to hurt. So I may do that next game if I don't forget. Right, let's do quarters. Do it from 4-3. We're going ace normal. We're running the ball. That was an easy eight yards. Forced me to go one high and I watched him throw it. I don't know what. Oh, come on down. Stag should be coming down and he's not. Let's do that. There we go. Play action. Didn't know who that was going to. I guess the X receiver. Third and two. Ooh. I'm going to go. If I can find it. Let's go fire two. They may run, they may throw, but I'm going to throw something weird at him. It's either going to really help us or really hurt us. I'm going to leave it as is. They're going to play action. Ended up working out. Somebody came through. So you just take a chance and it worked. All right, let's get the ball back. Try to stretch the lead some more. I almost got blocked. That was close. Yeah. No, don't fumble. No, on that guy. Okay. We're on the right hash. Let's see. I want to go. I want to go corners from five wide. We're going zone. Hmm. And he's doing that. Let's, uh, let's just go here. Get a few yards out of it. I want to try. It's not. Ta I mean, it, this was somewhat in the fun and gun offense. We're going to go back to cross. We're going to treat it like a normal play, though. Not as an audible. They're going man. They're doing that. Going one high. I'm not liking that whatsoever. Mm, that's just good defense. They went with like a double spy there, so good job on their part. So we'll go five semi. They're going zone. We're going to more than likely give this to Anderson unless Nash is just beyond wide open. Oh, gosh. I pressed the wrong button. And I didn't get it. Dang it. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> We're very fortunate I didn't get picked off. Uh, let's just punt it. I'm not going not gonna to risk it. Spare catch that if you don't mind. Thank you. Well, let's get back on defense. We'll go back to quarters. We're going counter. Fun ball. Somebody get it. They was able to get it back. Uh, we could try lightning too. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. 
Yeah, it's just a good play. He was wide open. I went right towards him, but just couldn't get to him in time. We'll go to a one high. Let's see. Ah, like, and they're going with their play action play. Dang it. That's just, I, I don't know if you saw what I done there. You have to go back and look at the film. Uh, but when I looked at the coaches cam, I noticed somebody was defending the quarterback, which means they're an ace normal. I know they're going to that halfback pass. So what I done was I just took over Stags, who was controlling the tight end or defending him, and I knew that he was going. To, the halfback was going to get it. So I just went after him, and it worked. Thankfully, I'm glad I noticed that. So you really got to pay attention on your coach cam, who is defending who. And if you see somebody defending a quarterback, then you know they're doing some weird play. All all a halfback pass. Okay, second to ten. Let's do quarters from three four. You have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. Play action, wide open. Gosh, he was wide open. Go back and look at that again. They're going. Man, let's see. They went with that. Oh, there was just nobody there, obviously. Well, that's a curl. That's the play action. Okay. Uh, Let's go back to another one high. If I can find it. First and ten. And this is the fifth play in the current drive. And the impact player at tight end is in the zone. I'm gonna control Parker fully here. I'm just gonna see if I can bait him into throwing in my direction. If they throw it. Nope, they're gonna run it. I got three yards. Like what I can do, it's second and seven. I'm going to go with, I used to do this back in the day, like in 2004, if I remember. I'm going to go cover two man, and what I would do is I would double team the receiver in closest to me. In this case, it's Walker. So I would pretty much double team their best receiver. Fullback dive. So I may try some of that. It's been so long since I've done that, and I've about forgot that I've done that, but it just kind of occurred to me. So I may fool around with some of that. Like, I would literally just go over there and we'll just double team him. That would bait the quarterback into uh, throwing over in that direction. And I was able to get more interceptions that way. Yeah, good play. Dang it. And it's just, you know, what do you do? So I would do it out of cover two, man. So let's try that. All right, that's the end of the quarter. Low scoring game, we're up 17, thankfully, but they're on their way to score, so this game is nowhere near over. We'll still do an under front. If I'm gonna go after Walker, let's see. Nope, they're running it again. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it. He's patient, that's just a good run. Hey, that's just a good run. I mean, what do you do about that? Nobody was able to come through. All right. They're going to kick an extra point. I don't know if they're going to onside kick. It's not really going to matter. Because we're still going to call the same thing. Let's see. Nope, they're going to do a normal kick. Going that way, looks like Coleman. Coleman, don't fumble it this time. All right, we're on the right hash. I think we'll give it to Peoples. And they're blitzing everybody, at least the inside guys. So let's see if that changed anything. Nope, and it didn't. Let's go Anderson, get another touchdown. Nice. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, you got to be kidding. He had it knocked loose before he could go. Oh. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. Let's go back to Peoples. They're going man here, and they're spreading out. The clock is stopped. That's a good block on that impact guy. Got the first. Now we can run some clock. Uh, let's try slam from I normal. We're going zone. They're doing that. 
We'll just leave it as is. Let the clock roll some. Get down to a couple seconds. Don't use the speed button. Just keep pushing forward. Pick up four. We could try draw again from here, although I actually think it works better if you got extra guys blocking for the going, <laughs> going with a 5-2, so this I don't know if this will work or not. We'll try it, though. We'll do this. We're going to go to the right. Again, I just treat it like a slam. Just be patient. I'm going to probably go to the outside here. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Tight end got busted big time. Normally, you can go to the outside. But he got pushed back. I should just cut in. Dang it. I know I'm not demonstrating halfback draw very well today, but trust me, I've been practicing and it can work. Third and ten. I just now realized that was a second down play. All right, we'll go five semi, I guess. We're going zone. We'll run the clock. Hopefully I can run this play a little bit better than last time. They'll call a timeout if I don't convert this. They'll probably, they may call a timeout if I convert it. Nice. Good play. Medium press of the button. I, I almost tapped it. Just about. It was close. But I had to get over that linebacker's head. And I didn't want to throw it too hard. So that was good. I'm going to try to draw again. We'll do it from big tight end wide receiver. They're going, or big twins. They're going zone here. I guess we'll go this, yeah. We got to go this way because that hanging tight, or that defensive end on the right. There we go. Pick up about five. They went in zone, so it's much more, uh, Logical to just cut up field on that. Right, they're going man dime here. But the camera's going to give it right back to Peoples. I'm going to go right this time. My line is actually a little bit better on the right side than it is on the right on the left, so we're going to go right. Let the clock roll. There we go. Good play there. Now, I think I'm on the six. He, he may be gassed. No, he's doing okay. We'll continue to give it to him. Uh, I I would love to do fade out, but I just don't feel like I need to. Don't think it's a good idea. So, we'll just go slam. I want to run clock, and I don't want to have an interception. The game is too tight for me to do something like that. We're going to go right. I'm going to leave it as is. I could move that receiver over, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. And we'll go touchdown. All right, good deal. That should have sealed it. We'll get an extra point and just get these next minute 44 seconds done and end this thing. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video, see if we get any commitments, any of the six possible commitments. That'd be cool if we got all six. I'm thinking at least four of them. That's I'm guessing four. I think four of the six, we knew what their pitch they liked. So, UNLV is ready to kick it away. Johnson and Walker deep to return. Kicks it deep. He's going to return this one. Johnson fields it in the end zone. Get a stop. Thought Aguayo was going to get the tackle there. I'm going to go quarters. You think they're going to throw here, but now yeah, you never know with some of these. They're going to play action. Wide open. It's a good play call. Second and one. Play action. Yep, there he is. They'll probably go with the same play if I had to guess. That's the first down. The Rams come out of the ace formation. There's the play fake. 
intercept that. Oh, I thought he was going to pick it off. I'm going to call a timeout. They're going to run the same play, and we can't stop it. So what we're going to do is we got our nickel. I just now realized our third corner, our nickel. He's finally healthy. He's been out for a little bit. Barnes has been out, so he's back. So let's go nickel. Cover two man across the board. Now, I'm going to do what I said earlier. And I'm just going to go over to the left and double team a high receiver. I'll control or go after somebody on this side. Good defense by 29. Got a hand on it. Third and 10. And we'll go play. We'll flip it this time. I prefer to control the middle of the field. And let's try with Parker on the sideline. I normally don't do this. Get him. Oh, good play. Yeah. He found him open right at the last second. Uh-oh. Flag. It's probably on us, uh, sides. On somebody. Todd. <laughs> They're going to decline it. We'll just go cover two man and leave it as is. Let me get down here and Going to that guy. Ah, oh, completely missed the tackle. Went right by me. Let's go with the Thunder Green. That touchdown. Yeah, you just taking a chance on it at that point. Couldn't get to him. We sent everybody. It didn't make a difference. <laughs> okay. 47 seconds, we're up 10, or we're fixing to go up 10. Just make sure we have a clean onside kick situation. They're out of time. I think they got one timeout, maybe. So as long as we recover this, we're going to be fine. So we'll just go to the victory formation after this. And he caught it. We'll just take a dive. And we'll go victor formation. They'll probably call a timeout on this one. And that should do it. All right, good win. Kudos to Colorado State. They kept it pretty interesting. They didn't really go away. They just kind of hung around. But we'll end up with a 10-point victory. One more snap should do it. That's one thing I've never really done is do a really a hurry up, no huddle offense. You could kind of do it. I'll have, I mean, that may be something I may look at if I pick another team after this season. Uh, the no huddle stuff, it's got its pluses and minuses in this game. But we'll just see how that goes. I may try. The only thing is, you you really got to rely on your audibles. And the problem is, if you're on the road and you're trying to do your audibles, it could get tough and guys can't hear and it can get kind of muffled. But Okay, good win. One by ten. I felt like we ran the ball a ton towards the end, which was fine. You know, you give it to your best player. Offensively, we didn't do much in the second half. And we ran the ball more. I like the even split, 24-21, so I'm happy with that. We lost a turnover battle one by ten. I'll take that any day of the week. Individual stats, yeah, Steichen just did not have the best game. His completions went up a little bit towards the end. Rushing, Peoples, it was his show today. 186 yards, two touchdowns. Receiving, fairly even across the board. 
Faga, Flan, or linebackers had a big day. Parker ended up with four tackles. I didn't feel like I had four tackles. I, some of them must have been when I was <laughs> defend or uh, controlling them. Okay, let's go. And we'll simulate the week, and we'll see if we got any commitments. Looks like Anderson done well on the receptions, the receiving yards. All right, simulate the week and see what happens. So I'm really excited about, I got some ideas for all of my contents, my YouTube channel, my websites. I got an idea in mind on how to simplify some of that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be working on in the next week or so. Nothing's really going to change. It's just I'm going to reorganize some things. Let's put it that way. So, so now we got to talk about this dynasty again. We got two games left. If I get invited, go up to the Pac-10. I'm sticking with UNLV, but if not, I'm ready to move on and try some different things. I've had a good run with UNLV, but it, it's time. I mean, just I'm going to go up to a five-star program, and they if I still don't get invited, that's just kind of goofy for me hanging around. Plus, I want to see a new change of scenery. I'm sure you all want to as well. I want to try a new offense, new defensive stuff. I got some ideas of mine. And that, hurt, that no huddle type stuff, the hurry up, I may try some of that. I'll have to wrap my head around probably the best way to do it. Again, the audible thing is what I don't like when you're on the road. When you're at home, you can pull that stuff off. But when you're on the road in a tough environment, you can't just call audibles on the fly as easily. Okay, we got three commitments. All skill players. A wide receiver, Josh Covington out of Oregon. Josh Weldon, tight end out of California. A blocker. And a, another blocker, Sean Rivera, out of Arizona, out of Dewey Humboldt, Arizona. We can see here, B hands for this welding guy, but he can't run to save his life. But we got we needed some bodies at tight end, that's for sure. And we got another body at wide receiver. I'm excited about this kid. I like his size. He's got good hands. I like where we're going with that. Okay, so that means we go to recruiting. And a lot of these guys, like this corner, we actually went down for this corner. It looks like we're not going to go out. Well, uh, I don't know. I may just take points off of them if we're going down that far. So what happened with this guard? I, we already have points taken off of him. Yeah, we're going to leave that as is. He still can't make up his mind. So I'm not worried about him. Right tackle, soft verbal. Right tackle, soft verbal. Another tight end, soft verbal. And this corner still hasn't made up his mind. So I'm still sticking with those four guys that are left. We'll do 25 across the board. So hopefully some of these guys will commit in the next week or so and get on board with these four other guys. So I still may end up with eight commitments, which is pretty awesome if that's possible. Love to pick up these linemen, the tight end. You know, you look at our situation here. I have three tight ends coming back. I know a couple of them are walk-on type of guys, like one stars. If I'm low on, or if I'm over the 70 mark, I may drop a couple of those tent tight ends. We'll just see how that goes. But uh, I may end up with three tight ends in the regular season, which I don't think I've ever done before. Either way, I like where we're at recruiting-wise. It's going really well. I'd like to see this go through, you know. But it just, if we don't get invited, it's just going to be hard for me to Get super excited about being in the Mountain West again, going through the same thing over and over again, you know. So we'll see how all that goes. So come on back. We will take on New Mexico in our finale of the season. After that, we got the bowl game, and then we'll see what happens after that. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.